Hey, today I'm gonna to quickly show you how you can start recording directly into DaVinci Resolve 18. And if you use a USB audio interface like the Rodecaster Pro 2 or a USB microphone like the Rode NT-USB Plus, which we're using for today's demonstration, this is a quick and easy way to record directly in your program without needing third-party software or needing to import your audio later. And while we are using the Rode NT-USB Plus, which is a really powerful microphone that's good for desktop setups like this, for these kinds of videos, or recording vocals, or anything else that you want high quality audio, any other USB microphone is gonna follow basically the same steps. So the first thing that we actually wanna do is plug in our USB microphone or interface and make sure that it's detected by our computer. Now, after we've plugged in our microphone, we wanna to go to our sound settings if you're using a Mac or the equivalent sound control panel on a Windows PC, and then click on sound settings. Under sound, we can actually see our various inputs. By default, your USB microphone might not be selected, so do make sure it is highlighted and selected there. As you can see, we do have the other USB inputs for the Rodecaster Pro 2, but again, we're using the USB microphone here, so we're selecting the NT USB Plus. Now, we've got DaVinci Resolve opening up. I've already created a sample project, which is actually the one we're using for the review of this microphone later. So I'll just go ahead and open that up. So far, nothing crazy. We're then gonna go into our third tab. Now from our project, you've imported your footage probably, and I've already created a timeline. Doesn't matter what steps you take here, but usually you'll wanna create your timeline first, import a piece of footage that also has an audio track. That way we can then right click and add a second audio track. In this case, I'm using the microphone that's stereo, so I want a stereo recording here. But since I've already created one earlier, I don't need this third audio track. We just need the second one here and we can rename it to whatever we want. In this case, we'll just call it voiceover test. The next step is actually to go and remap some settings under Fairlight. So we'll click Fairlight and then we'll click Patch Input Output. Under here, we've already created it, but let me quickly show you what we need to do. So under our source device, we are looking at our audio inputs. That's where we should see our USB microphone, which we've selected from our sound settings at the top right before. So we'll make sure that we select our USB microphone, the NT USB Plus. On the right hand side, where we're going from audio outputs to track input, because we actually wanna make sure that we're recording this into track number two. So this is where we can see that we've created track number two called voiceover test. So with our USB microphone selected, we'll then select our voice one and two channel, and then we're gonna hit patch. And now it knows to direct the audio that comes from our source microphone to audio track number two, which we've created and named as voiceover test. We can exit out of that. Next, we actually wanna tell DaVinci Resolve where to save these audio files as we record them. So clicking on the cog at the bottom right hand side, this is where we'll get our master settings for our project. We're gonna click on capture and playback. We're gonna leave everything the same except save clips too. I've already routed my folder to the same folder structure that I've done to create this project, but you can save it anywhere, whether that's the desktop or the same place that you're recording and saving all your other files for this project. So in that case, once we've clicked on it, select okay, and we'll exit out. Now we're almost there. We're gonna switch over to Fairlight. Your layout might look a little bit different, but you'll probably see the timeline somewhere on your screen. Again, we have our two tracks, the one that's associated with our video file called Audio 1 and VoiceOver Test, which is our audio track two that we created. We're gonna make sure that's selected, and when it's selected, it'll be in red. All we have to do now is click on the audio record button at the top right hand side and our audio will start to record. However, in this case, our audio isn't actually recording and we can tell that because there are no audio levels there. So what's going on? It's often overlooked or forgotten about and it can make for a really miserable day if you don't remember this step. The first thing you wanna do is arm the track by hitting the R button. It doesn't happen by default. It would be nice if it did, 
But the thing to keep in mind is if you don't see the audio meters populating before you start recording, it's not gonna be recording afterwards. So now that we see your audio meters there, we can hit our record button and now we'll see our track is turning red as we go. You're not really gonna see the audio meters change at all as you're recording, but we'll hit stop now. We will also wanna make sure that all our other audio, for the most part, unless we're monitoring it through headphones, that our other tracks are muted. That way it doesn't interfere with our voice recording here. And now if we go back to our cut or edit page, we'll see that our track has been saved. We can also go back to our folder and we can see where DaVinci saved our audio, both for a right and left track. So if in the future we ever need to export this or use another program to edit this, we can take the raw files and edit them later. And so there you have it. That's how you can easily record audio directly in DaVinci Resolve 18. These steps also apply for older versions, including 17, 16, and I think even 15. And chances are they're gonna be very similar for future updates for DaVinci Resolve 2. Hopefully this got you set up with your recordings. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Until the next one, I'll catch you later.